and it's been so long I forgot how to do this. Um, anyways, uh, um, uh, um. <laughs> what is Crack and Lack and Tackle Family? Long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. You guys are probably wondering where I've been. Well, maybe some of you have. The other ones probably don't give a crap, which is cool too. Uh, that's cool. I'm fine with that. Not really hurt my feelings. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I have been super busy and I haven't done any fishing and I just haven't had time for fishing because I've done plenty of fishing, believe me. Uh, I have been busy though. I've been doing a lot of stuff at the house. Uh, I've been working on the car. The car has some problems. I had to change out a thermostat. Uh, then after the thermostat, I had to change out an alternator in the car because the alternator went bad. I had to buy a new battery. I had to change the brakes. Like everything hit at once with the car. Um, so I got all that taken care of. Uh, we've been doing raised uh, garden beds. Uh, we're trying to grow our own fruits and vegetables, and uh, now we're uh, raising chickens. So we're gonna, I'm gonna be building a chicken coop soon, and uh, just getting a little homestead together, you know? Just, you know, gotta have that homestead life, and I gotta, I wanna have them, them videos uh, rolling, and then I wanna have my fishing videos and cooking videos all together. So that's what we're gonna be doing with the channel. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys some clips throughout the winter time, basically, where I went fishing and got skunked because I suck at fishing. Because I suck at fishing. <laughs> then we'll get to the surprise catch that I caught out of the bayou. Um, but also went to the beach, I caught one pompano. If you guys are in this area, Pensacola, Orange Beach, Perdido, Gulf Shores, uh, Navarre, Destin, get on the beach because the pompano are going crazy right now. The pompano are running, pompano are delicious. One of my favorite fish besides whiting. Um, but yeah, get on the beach because they are running. Um, and I did a catch and cook on one pompano that I caught and the recipe is just absolutely phenomenal. So make sure you guys stay to the end to watch that and I will catch you at the end. Holler. Ooh, yeah. What's up boys, Chicken Bone Beach. Let me show you what we got rigged up today. It is a little chilly outside and I'm wearing a tank top. So ill prepared on my part. Anyways, we got the old frisky fins, yellow float, yellow bead little pre uh, piece of salted shrimp that I salt myself. Uh, same thing over here, salted shrimp, a little piece of sand flea flavored fish gum. If y'all know what fish gum is, go check him out. He's got a really awesome product, um, sponsored by him. And uh, Tony's a really good guy, I appreciate him a lot. Go check him out on uh, all social media platforms. Let's go ahead and sling it out. Three ounce weight. Water is ice cold. And we're gonna see if we can get on to something, something to eat. Cause that's what I'm always going for, something to eat. Unless it's a big ugly, like I caught last video. Or no, two videos ago. I don't eat, I don't eat uh, black drum, not much. Anyway, so I'm gonna get this one thrown out here and uh, I'll catch you in a minute. Might have to put bigger weights on. It just literally pushed it, right? my three outs all the way to the side over here i think i got one sputnik that i could throw on whoa it's been on the struggle best my friends uh nothing seems to be working i switched over to super light tackle just a one dropper loop uh with a little piece of uh salted shrimp i should have got some fresh dead shrimp but uh I don't know. There's tons of jellyfish everywhere, I noticed. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but we're all over the beach. Well, I'm kind of just trying to figure out a trough to get in or a rip or something. Because it has been slow motion. That's what I'm talking about. There's a jellyfish. There's a jellyfish. There's a jellyfish. They're just all down the beach. I don't think I've ever seen that many jellyfish. When walking this way, I've probably seen like, I don't know, 30, 40 of them all up on the beach. It's kind of wild. Sorry about the car noise. I'm walking down Johnson's Beach right now. Yeah! Walking down Johnson's Beach right now. Uh, dropped off the kids and the wife and 
uh, the poles and everything. We're getting to our spot. But uh, we're going to get all rigged up and we're going to see if we can get on to the Pompano Pump right now. I'm just out of breath because I'm fat and I've been walking. But I'll see you guys when I get to the water over here. Woo! And I don't know if you see it, there's a sandbar. I don't know if I can get to it. I, I would have to get in the water and walk out onto it. The water's absolutely freezing still. So I don't know if we're going to be doing that. But I, I'm just right close to it right there. Got a little movement on this pole. I don't think it's anything, but you never know. No, it ain't nothing. I need to check my baits anyways. Got someone rolling up on me right here. I don't know if they're checking license or what they're doing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, assume that's what they're doing. Well, just cruising by. Well, you guys think you could just come take over my fishing spot? Oh, brand new haircuts. What? I'm going out, boys. Oh, that's cold. Oh, I can feel that rip current. A man can only get skunked so many times off the beach, so I changed it up when did a little bass fishing up in Munson at Bear Lake. So here's some clips from that. Still got skunked. All right, let's see what Bear Lake's got. I haven't had a bait caster in my hand in like 36 years. Apologize about the wind. It is uh, absolutely horrible. Oh. I'll start off with a chatterbait. God, it is so windy. Just slow rolling it. Feels good to throw a bait caster again, I'll tell you that. Man, that wind is just kicking. Absolutely kicking. I figured it's pushing, might be pushing the fish up in this corner. But no bites on the chatterbait. I got a crack and crawl trailer on the back of it. Kind of just slow rolling it, like I said before. Might switch up to a jig kind of punch this weed line see if it's hiding in the weeds all right I switched up to a, just a Texas rig crack and crawl and uh, slow motion not no bites no nothing whoa that's wild that scared the crap out of me he went right over my head one of planes that land on a lake. I wonder if he's gonna land. That was crazy.
Doing all right? That plane scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Came down low like that. Oh, did you? I saw it coming. I didn't see it coming. It flew right down. Lose. Okay. All right, got my cut bait over there. A little pompano rig over here. Here I got the old Zepco 202. My youngest son's about to just drop it down and see if we can get a little penny. What do you think, Bob? Losing the OGs, the triple OG. Oh, on the OG, on the OG. Oh, on the OG. Look at that pinfish. Yeah. I'm gonna, this one's like perfect live line. I'm gonna live line this dude. Hey, there's still a little piece on here. You wanna drop it back down? This rod always, yeah, just like Cheryl said, this rod always catches fish. I don't care where I'm at, I can catch any fish on the OG. OG. The OG 202. Here, that a boy. I'm gonna throw him over here on this. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna drop another one down there and see if I can get another one. Here, here, yeah, here, hold this. Oh. It's probably already off. No. It's on. I got it. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Don't be a, I feel like catfish. No, I don't want a catfish. No, fighting. Come on. Don't be a catfish. It's a catfish. I knew it. Is it a catfish? It's a puppy drum. It's a black drum. Yeah, it's a black drum. We have to beach him. Oh, is it a red? It might be a red. He's not bad. Come on. I'm gonna have to beach him. I don't have my drop down that. It's a red. Hey, get my uh, measuring tape. Or bring my backpack. It's a nice size redfish, y'all. You got your camera? Oh, there he is. I gotta, yeah. Gotta walk him all the way to the beach. There he is. Got him. Crap, sorry. All right. Thanks for the help. Whew. That's a redfish. That's a nice one. Look at that guy. Come here. Come here, buddy. That's all right. <coughs> Come on. All right, guys. Nice size redfish right here. But problem is it's over slot it's 
30 inches. State of Florida, it's 17 to 27, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna have to put them back in the water, let them go, let them grow, and uh, maybe we'll catch them on the next one. All right, guys. Give a little revive here. Nope, oh, nope, oh, he's gone. Too hard, dude. All right, nice size redfish. Wish I could have kept them, because I'm hungry. Ugh. Hey, is that somebody out there? Oh, it's a pelican. I thought it was a person. All right, I thought it was a person. Scared me. Wouldn't be the first time I see someone out that far, though. All right, let's try to dig it around a little bit, baby. <laughs> There's a nice size pumping up. I didn't even get it on film. I know. Anyways, a good size pumping now. I don't know if I got it on film or not. But uh, if we got to measure him up. I'm pretty sure he's uh, good to go though. Oh yeah, 13 to the fort. Woo! I need to wash them off. No, I got him. Dinner. All right, guys. I don't know if I got it on film or not. There's a nice pompano right here, 13 inches. Whoa, easy, buddy. 13 inches to the port, right here. And uh, we're gonna put this in the fish bag. We're gonna have a good dinner tonight. Woo! All right, this is a beautiful pompano that we caught right here. And uh, first off, before we get into this, I'm not going to show the whole the whole process of cleaning a pompano. If you want to see that, it's all over YouTube. But I did want to talk about this knife. So my last knife took a crap on me. It's dull as crap, and I sharpened it many times. And why is those are trail not covering the whole entire blade? This is all the way down, and it's not covering the blade. That's not good. So <laughs> let me just throw that out there. Anyways, we got the seven inch fillet knife here. I bought it because it's cheap. The old Danko and Bubba blades that are definitely a lot better. But I just wanted to show you guys, first thing, always start right here on the top of the head, the head meat. A lot of people, they miss that, and that's like really good meat. It actually goes all the way up here. And then you wanna come around here. All right, so once you get around like that, get up in that head, you're just gonna work it down the body, down the back, like so. And then you're going to get to where you can get it through completely like that. Like that. And there you go. We got two good fillets. We're going to leave the skin on and we're going to show you how we're going to cook it up on a black stove. Woo! Hello! <gasps> you're done! All right, we got our chopped up lemons. We're gonna be squeezing lemon juice on the fish. We also got some steaks over here. We're gonna chop up some butter, throw on there. And I've been really, really obsessed with this right here. It's called spicy sea salt. And it's basically just sea salt with like different peppers and stuff in it. Chili peppers, um, green bell pepper, 
uh, pepper, pepper, and pepper, pepper, pepper. <laughs> All right, first up, you gotta do this. You gotta, oh, did you hear that? Yeah. All right, first up, you're gonna put your butter, your butter. Time out. Time out. <laughs> Redo that. You're gonna put your oil down first, then you're gonna put butter on, that way your butter does not burn. So, what you're gonna do here, put a little bit of oil, Kind of splatter it around a little bit, you know. Kind of like this. I'm gonna do like all over the grill because I've got steaks as well. All right. Then you can take your butter. I just use regular. I don't even know what this is. What kind of imperial butter? So gonna do that right there. Move it around a little bit, let it melt. Like this. Move it up here. It'll melt over and down this way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that pompano right there. I left the skin on. Left the skin on. We're gonna drop it down on there. Same with this one. Oh, curled up immediately. It's got the heat too high. It's all good. I did have the heat a little bit too high, so they kind of curled a little bit, cuffed up a little bit. But it's all good. Still gonna taste amazing. I know that. This fish is gonna be done faster than them steaks, so I'm gonna cook them steaks. I'm gonna cook them steaks um, probably when this fish is done, to be honest with you. So, we do that, and then hit it with some lemon juice. Oh man, that's gonna be good. Hit it with more lemon juice. Now, I'll hit it with lemon juice after too, just a little bit. like that. So I put more pepper and more of that seasoning on there. Put that lemon juice on there. It actually curled up a little bit, but it kind of like went back into its shape. So uh, we're gonna give it a flip. These are almost done, to be honest with you. I'm gonna hit it with another of this real, real quick. Just cause I love this stuff. This stuff is really good. It's, li it's my Loretta, Loretta. I don't know, but you gotta check that stuff out. It's really good. Especially on fish. Alrighty, so this is almost done right here. Um, I turned this side basically off. These are almost done. So we're gonna get it all plated up. We got some salad to go with it. Gonna be good. All right, here's the pompano that we got right here, and uh, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon, just like that. I already took a bite, and it's absolutely amazing. Let me go ahead and just uh, grab that right there. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. It doesn't get any better than that, guys. Gulf Coast pompano, right there, baby. It's so nice to be able to go out, and get your own fish. Look at look look at this. Look at look at how flaky that is. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did enjoy the video, do me a solid. Give the video a big huge thumbs up. It really helps the channel out with the algorithm. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Smash the subscribe button. Hit the little bell notification that, next to it. That way you're always updated when I drop a new video. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. It really means a lot. Um, I know I don't upload all that regular, and uh, you know, but uh, you guys are still over, always there giving it a thumbs up and always watching and subscribing, so I really appreciate it a lot. I'm super stoked that it's springtime. The wintertime is over here in Northwest Florida because um, I caught nothing over the wintertime, as you guys know. I caught one black drum. It was, it was a big black drum, don't get me wrong, but I'm really excited about whiting, pompano, and doing catch and cooks, and hopefully we can catch a slot red. The, the red that I caught, 
was nice, but 31 inches had to go back. There's was over, over slot, it was over regulation. So, but hopefully we get on some slot reds and we can do a little grill, you know, a little on the half shell, a little grill in action, you know? So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be the homestead stuff, catching cooks and fishing. That's what, it, that's what it's all about. So if you like them type of videos, you came to the right spot and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Holler.